We're getting sued. No, we're not. I'm getting sued. No, you're not. Give me this. Are we gonna go see a lawyer? No, we're not getting sued. We're not getting a lawyer. Let me get to the car. Now, we are not getting sued, though we did get contacted by an attorney. But before we dig into that, we actually gotta check in this Honda Fit because this is going out in about an hour. Okay, so now let's switch this out with the Focus. That's better. Now, you guys may remember our beautiful 2007 Ford Focus. Fun fact, despite the fact that this is our oldest and arguably our ugliest car, this is one of the most utilized cars in our fleet. In fact, this car was just returned last night from a nearly two week long rental and it is going out tonight for eight weeks. It will not be back until May. So each piece day is going to be dedicated to make sure that this car is ready for an extended rental. All right, so with this car going out for a very long time, there's a lot of stuff that I have to make sure is foolproof. I need to do an engine oil change. I need to go ahead and check the brakes, make sure everything's gonna last the entire duration. I'm not getting close front and rear. I'm gonna clean out the rear brakes today. And then I'm just gonna do a general check over all other maintenance, make, take a look at the transmission fluid, take a look at the coolant. I wanna make sure this car is bulletproof because I know this renter will be taking it for a fairly long drive. Well, now that the rear brakes have been inspected and cleaned and I've properly lubricated all the contact points, the renter should be good to go on the rear brakes. Let's check the front and change the oil. I always end up making notes whenever I do my oil filters and I always make sure that I let myself know in the future that I changed it with love. Now all we need is two front tires and alignment and we'll be ready to rock. And just like that, it's done. Wait, aren't we getting sued? No, we're not getting sued. Oh. So now that we got all of the cars checked in for the day, now we can finally talk about the legal letter that we received last week that I think really just drives home the fact that whenever it comes to following the terms of service, it is so incredibly important. You see, you guys remember our 2012 Toyota Yaris that was in an accident a couple of weeks ago. This accident was caused by a woman who claimed that the car was stolen. The car was wrecked and abandoned on the side of the road. Now, a couple of days ago, late last week, HP and I got a letter in the mail from an attorney. Bye, Red Focus. Bye, Red Focus. Oh, reliable. Now I'm not gonna lie, that letter spooked me because I've never gotten a letter from an attorney 
ever. So to see that come in the mail addressed to me in regards to that car, I was like, ooh. Now I read the letter from the attorney and it wasn't a lawsuit and I would say that as far as letters from attorneys go, it was fairly mild. But basically what it was, was a letter from an attorney representing a the person that our renter hit in the 2012 Yaris and the attorney was requesting insurance information. And of course they got my information from the registration on the car so they wanted to get insurance to file a claim. So what we did is I contacted Turo, I told them what was going on, the claims representative that helped us with this damage claim in the first place told me to send him all of the information and that's exactly what I did. And he said that he would handle it. And as of right now, it has all been handled. And the reason why we think that this is an important thing to mention on this channel is because of the fact that this is one of the reasons why we are such a proponent. We just drive it home so much on this channel about how important it is to follow the terms of service. And this is why we stress the importance of doing things by the book. Just like our vehicle today. A lot of that stuff didn't need to be done right now before this trip. We wanted to make sure that we were crossing all of our T's and dotting all of our I's. It's really important to do stuff like this. You've got to cover the things that you're liable for. So doing things like required maintenance on the cars, making sure that you're sending out a safe vehicle, making sure that your car is properly insured because even though Turo does cover you with their protection package, you do also have to have additional insurance on top of that that adheres to state guidelines, doing things like checking driver's license. All of this is so incredibly important because yeah, probably 95% of the time you will get away with not doing any of these things. I talk to so many guests on a weekly basis who whenever I tell them that I need a picture of their license, they're like, none of the other hosts has made us do that. It's just crazy because there's a lot of people that don't follow the terms of service, but all you need is one time to get contacted by somebody like an attorney or a police officer or anybody in a position of authority and you could be absolutely screwed if you didn't do what you're supposed to do as a Turo host. I know that we talk a lot on this channel about the things that go wrong with our Turo fleet, but I also think it's important to talk about the things that go right and in the case of getting sued, getting in an accident, having to deal with attorneys, that's something that make a lot of new Turo hosts nervous and I was personally really impressed with how quickly Turo handled it and how they addressed the issue with really no pushback at all. So I was definitely impressed. So I guess we're not getting sued. Nope, never were. Never were getting sued. <laughs> but guys, as always, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next episode.